All right, here we go. Can I jump off a bridge now? I'm still working on my CNC. It's um, the progress is slow. It's um, I I just can't I couldn't imagine how long it took me to get the uh, the rails um, mounted. It wasn't easy. I want to jump off a bridge. Let me just say that right now. So if you plan on doing a CNC, um, plan on investing a lot of time in the minute smallest details. Anyway, having said that. Um, in my previous videos, I said I was going to mount the rails and get those all flat, square, flush, and um, you know as, as straight as possible, um, which I, I think I accomplished. And I'm going to take you through the steps now. All right, do you remember how I said to you that I was going to use, in my previous videos, I was going to use um, um, epoxy, some sort of epoxy, um, to level, like a self-level epoxy or something to level out the rails, the sub-rails. Um, I, didn't, I didn't go with that um, method only because, um, you know, in reading a lot of forums, um, there was different types of viscosities and, you know, everyone had different opinions on everything about epoxy. Um, I, I was going crazy. So what I basically came up with, um, basically, they weren't too bad um, where I could get away with using shims, basically, um, which basically does the same thing as, you know, the epoxy. Um, in my opinion, I think the shims that I used are a better alternative because they're hardened steel, um, stainless steel sh uh, shims. And um, I, didn't need, I didn't need a lot of them, but um, they were necessary. And um, like I said, I wanted to jump off a bridge because... Um, you would adjust one thing and over talk something else and it would throw something else off. It was crazy. And we're not talking inches, we're talking, we're talking very minute uh, measurements here. But uh, um, I was able to accomplish it and I'm going to show you what I've done. So here we go. All right, let me show you what I've been using here. Um, these, I've been using these as shims. They're actually from a feeler gauge, um, they're hardened steel. They come in different gauges and they actually picked these up. A set for like three forty nine, and I bought like two or three of them, just so I would have enough of them if, in case I didn't. Um, but they're actually working out well. And um, what I've now my the process that I've been going through, I've been pulling my hair out, um, trying to figure out how I can. I have my balls <laughs> ball screw. I have them covered up so they don't get wet or anything. Um, I've been trying to align my rails, um, and, you know, and with the little metal shims, it's proven to be quite difficult and challenging only because with these rails, even, you know, how thick they are, um, they take the shape, they take the form of whatever they're laying on, not by much, you know, we're talking thousandths of an inch, um, very minute measurements, um, but they do take on that form. So it was crucial that these are absolutely flat. Um, and, and furthermore, the trucks that sit on them have to be absolutely level. So with my arsenal of tools, I'm a woodworker, as you know. I'm not a machinist, so I'm kind of limited on what I can use for tools to get things straight and flat and level. Let me just go through a few things, headaches. For instance, this aluminum four foot ruler rule one would think that it's flat it's absolutely straight but it's not even though it appears to be by the naked eye it's not so again it's what do you reference from so I found this to be useless uh, my four foot bubble level right here um, is not as accurate as I need it to be. Um, I could put this right across and get my level. All right, I can put that right across and it's telling me that it, uh, both of the rails are level with one another. But again, the bubble level is only as accurate. It's, you know, it's a woodworking tool. It's for me, you know, it's to get level, to get a level on um, a surface that uh, you don't need to be, uh, you know, have high precision, high accurate measurements. I mean, right there, it's telling me it's level, but it's all relative. Um, also, my shop floor is not level. I had to get the whole frame assembly level to what I think was level, you know, in, in um, using my uh, bubble level. 
So what I've done was I've done I I've been using the combination of all of those, including you know the angle finder right there, which tells me it's absolutely zero. But again, <laughs> how accurate is that? You know, so that's kind of, that's what's kind of frustrating about this process, you know, um, because it's very crucial and important to get everything uh, aligned and level and straight and flat with one another. Um, so it's been an ongoing process and it's a struggle. Um, what I actually done now, everything's all shimmed up and to be level and straight to what I think it is. Um, I came up with this system using my laser level right there. And I have on the other end of the block, I have a little indicator right there, a tape, piece of tape with some indicator, and it's, magnet, it's magnetic. Put that right there. Theoretically, if this end of the rail was aligned and level with this end, that laser should hit that mock dead on. Let me just show you what I mean. All right. Okay, so that, as you can see, I have that set up down there. Okay, and I have my little laser level there. So theoretically, if both points were aligned with one another, I don't know if you can see it, it should hit that indicator mark right there, which it does, which I'm happy about. That was a struggle getting to that point. <laughs> Let me put my hand in front of it and get it back. There you go. So theoretically, as I move that that block down the rail, it should stay at that level and not jump up and down. So let me bring it down to this point. Okay, and as you can see, let me bring it right there, and it's dead center of that point, that laser point. And theoretically, if I move it down, it should not jump. I just hit it with my camera. But you get what I'm saying, and it's actually, it's, it's perfect. So, I'm happy with that. Now, theoretically, if both of these rails were aligned with one another perfectly, I should be able to move this reference point to that block, and I should that laser light should hit that reference mark. So let's try it. All right, you see I got my laser light, I got my reference mark on the other block down there, and it's hitting it. There you go. Let me align it better, but it's, it's, hit, it's hitting that mark. So I'm happy about that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is try it at all points on the rails, all four corners and in between, everywhere in between. Um, and that should be my indicator and that should tell me that both of these rails are aligned with one another um, from what my tools at hand are telling me. So let me just show you one thing over here. That's the block that's showing me that that's level. And here's another one right there that's telling me that that's level. And I also have done that on all four blocks at all points on the rails. It's a, it's a difficult uh, journey, um, but it's going to be well worth it. It's challenging and yet fun um, sometimes. <laughs> but that, uh, that's what I got right now, so I'll talk to you later. Bye.